It's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels, and here are your card readings for the coming week. These are general readings, so take from them everything that resonates with you, leave anything else behind, but most of all, enjoy a really positive week. I'll be using my teacup tarot deck. Scorpio, let's check out your cards for this week, starting the 17th of April. And your overall energy card, the Nine of Wands, comes in and says, stay motivated, stay determined, be persistent and keep going. You can do this. Have the self-belief and the determination this week. The Nine of Wisdom says it's time for you to shine your light in the world. It's teaching from experience. It's leading by example. Time for you to shine. Don't give up, stick at it. Be that beacon for other people to follow. Your help or your hurdle? The three of coins is the card of teamwork. You don't have to do this all on your own. This card keeps showing up in the other readings as well. This is about everybody bringing their own talents and skills to the table, sharing them. And when you all work together, the success can be yours. So teamwork, making the dream work, which you're clearly going to do because we've got the sun card here from the tarot in the uh, Time to Shine deck. It's the 19 of wisdom. This is about success and happiness and joy and you acting on those brilliant new ideas so here's the success and be ready when you get any new clarity and new ideas remember to act on those your guidance here in comes the king of wands now the kings are all authority figures in the deck and the king of wands is very much an entrepreneur very much a business energy. The King of Wands is someone who is very successful because they've learned how to be. And now they are willing to share this knowledge and wisdom and guidance with others. So this could be you stepping up into this role of teacher, mentor, helping people put a plan together for success. Or it could be somebody coming in to help you do exactly that. The Ten of Emotion is the card of contented family life. It's loving and rewarding relationships. It's the happy ever after card. It's absolutely beautiful. Emotional fulfillment. Contented, happy and loving relationships and family so what a lovely start to your week this week how can we help ourselves the ten of pencils says expect the situation to improve things are looking up things are getting better and so much better so be positive know that things are improving the three of action says it's time to dream big. No dream is too small. This is you enjoying the abundance. It also asks you to make long-term plans and keep moving forward. So looking long-term, not just making the plans, acting on them and taking those first action steps. Now, sometimes they seem a little bit ineffective or very small, when in fact, they are the most important ones because they're the ones that get you moving in a new direction towards this wonderful new goal. Pulling it all together, the Queen of Wands shows up. We've got the King and the Queen. That is a powerful combination. Now, the Queen of Wands comes in with a dose of self-confidence. 
her mantra is, yes, I can. And she does. She can manifest exactly what she needs when she needs it. Again, because she's learned how to. And again, happy to share this information with other people. So this is the confidence. This is the self-belief. This is you manifesting exactly what you need. A very powerful combination of cards there. The seven of emotions says do so mindfully. Make your choices with care and make sound decisions. Choose the sunflower, not the cactus. So look at things carefully. Make sure you've got all the information that you need. And then make a balanced and wise choice. The king of coins shows up. We've got two kings and a queen. The king of coins is the Midas touch king. Anything they turn their hand to is a success. So this is very much financial success, career success, success with home and family. Here it is for you. And again, this Wonderful King brings you confidence, more confidence and opportunity. Know that things will be successful or can be successful when the King of Coins shows up. And your final outcome card, the Eight of Action says, expect to get busy. If things have felt a bit slow lately, not anymore. This is like a breath of fresh air. In comes this busy new energy, lots going on. It's the end of delays, lots going on at once. Expect to get busy. Delays are over. This is you moving forward at a pace. So let's just look at the cards overall. Stay motivated and determined and be that leader leading from experience, leading and teaching from example, set that ex example to other people, be that guiding light. The success is right here for you. It will involving other people. Here's your how to plan or you being again, that mentor and teacher for other people, especially where family are concerned. This is you stepping up and saying, this is how to be successful. The Queen of Wands brings in the confidence, the self-assurance, and you manifesting exactly what it is that you would like to aim for. Know that the situation is improving. Delays are over. Long-term planning, taking those action steps, working on those wonderful new ideas, and know we've got the Two cards with success written all over them. It's here for you. Just be ready to take the steps, follow the plan and get busy. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button. It's free. Thank you for doing that. It makes a huge difference to me. And then you'll get notified when I do the next reading for you as well. So take care now. And I'll see you soon.